Good morning, biscuits. So this is the first What I Ate Wednesday that I'm shooting. Um, I'm gonna do this every week. I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm eating on this particular day. Give you a little inspo for this time of year. So I got inspired watching Anna's vlogs. She used to do this um, really regularly. And I thought, boy, this would be a fun thing to put on the channel. So come along. I am making waffle batter. And it has protein, whey protein powder in it, and a green superfood powder. That makes it a little bit healthier, so it'll be high protein, it'll have the dense dehydrated nutrients in there, and then I'm gonna cook it all up in our waffle maker. Thanks Rob, excellent gift. Um, and have a little bit something teeny bit healthier. We're probably gonna do some Greek yogurt on top. I will show you and some maple syrup. So let me finish stirring this in. And I will show you. Goes in, cooks there. <clears throat> I better get my timer for just under three minutes. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is just gonna be funky throughout this whole vlog. In fact, probably for months because allergy season has unfortunately begun. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. So what you gonna do? Okay, timer on, I just put it on my phone in case you're looking for a quick way to do stuff. So I'm doing two minutes and 24 seconds because three minutes tends to burn it. Um, you know, today I have to, well, I don't have to, but today I am shooting <clears throat> a cleaning vlog and a yoga vlog. I've got my yoga outfit on. And Abraham has class, so I'm kind of scurrying to get everything done because his class starts really soon. We kind of had a, a cuddle morning and we slept in and hung out and talked to his grandparents on the phone um, instead of getting things done like we should have. So I'm a little behind on things. Um, but I think these are gonna be tasty little waffles and high protein with that nice, you can buy different brands of it, but it's the dehydrated powdered green vegetables. Um, and it's my little sneaky pit. I just put about half a tablespoon in for two waffles. And then I put about two to three tablespoons of um, the whey protein powder in. For the, it comes out to about two waffles, two and a half is what the batter makes. Um, so a nice, nice hearty amount of protein and veggies and it's a great way to sneak veggies in. My son will not eat vegetables. He will pick through tomato sauce on pasta and find like basil and take it out if it's green. So this is kind of my go-to. Mom, put a It's pretty good, right? Wow. So these are how they turned out. We just used little Ikea plastic plates for Abraham. They look like that by was pretty pretty. We put maple syrup. I like to put butter on mine. Abraham is not a fan of buttering. So I'm gonna eat this with him real quick because then, as you can see, I'm gonna clean and I gotta get him this little classroom. But these are really good. So I put a little bit of butter on top, put some maple syrup, and ooh, ooh, they are so, they steamed up the <laughs> thing. I'm gonna unplug the waffle maker. So we have batter for probably one more waffle on that, um, but I'll make that if we still want it or I'll just save the batter. You can make these ahead of time. I'm gonna set you down on something. You can make these ahead of time and then freeze the waffles and then toaster them up uh, to have as a really quick, easy breakfast, which is really nice. Um, because then, you know, you can control it. You can make it with whole wheat flour. I use a buttermilk pancake mix because I'm just getting through it. But slowly but surely, I'm getting away from the mixes because I'm trying to reduce all the sugar we've been eating. I kind of think it's been bad for our immune system with everything been going on. Um, so I'm going to start making my own pancake mix and just make it in a big batch and put it in a bag. Um, probably the same bag that this mix was in because it's really easy. You know, baking powder, baking soda, flour, salt, um, and any other ingredients you want to add in. It's, it's easy peasy. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, 
I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you at lunchtime. indecisive mama that I am, uh, I changed my mind at the last minute. So I'm going to do a, uh, a peace and relaxation tea because I thought it might, might calm, calm my little crazy nerves down. So I'm going to tell you what's in it. It has skullcap, chamomile, passion flower, wood, botany, spearmint, and peppermint. So those are all really good calming ones. Now it's got the mints in it, which I tend to steer clear of for nursing, but Abraham and I are long enough into this nursing journey that when I got sick in the winter, I started drinking mint teas and things for my tummy. And it does, it does lower my supply a little bit, but I figure, you know, it's five, five and a half now. Um, it's okay if my supply a little bit. I try to take other things that help keep my supply up. Um, Cause I feel like he's kind of naturally pulling back on breastfeeding. You know, he just has little sips here and there now. So I'm, I'm giving myself the grace to be able to drink this. Um, my sister who breastfeeds can drink peppermint tea, she says, and it doesn't affect her supply at all. So it really is dependent. Um, and I don't know, it's so, that's so hard to gauge. I'll be curious when I have my next kid um, to, once my supply is established, drink a little bit of mint tea for a day and see if it does anything. Um, when I'm nursing more frequently, it, it's, still, it's still so hard to tell. Um, so I'm gonna go drink that. I'm gonna, Take a deep breath and remind myself I don't have to do everything all the time and have it be instantly done, that that's okay. Um, I'm gonna fill out some forms for Abraham's coming up kindergarten school in in the fall. Oh my goodness, that is coming up so soon. I have to, I have to get that in this week. Oh, how my little baby grows up. Oh my goodness, it's so, it's so weird. It goes by so quickly. Um, I'm gonna reply to some emails and get all that stuff done. And then I will check in with you if we end up having a post tea snack. I feel like today, and this has happened before, I've filmed what I've eaten days a couple times. They always end up being weird food days where I don't eat what I normally would. But I'm just taking you along with me. Let's, you know, get inspired to drink some relaxing tea. I brought these bags to the airport before, you know, because I like my tea and I'm persnickety and I want to bring my tea. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure security gets a good laugh at it, like, what's that? Oh, it says it's peppermint. Is it really peppermint? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not mushrooms in the juice, don't worry, that's for dinner. So we are gonna have, we're gonna make some fresh juice. Ooh, gave you a nut left. That is fennel. And then we are gonna make, I think we're gonna make either burritos or tacos for dinner. We have both kinds of tortillas. Uh, or pasta. Basically, I'm gonna saute up a bunch of vegetables. And then we decide if we want to do beans and cheese or like what we want to add in. No. Oh, not sure. I have to, I have to shut this up. Give me one second. <laughs> and I'm also waiting on the computer to live chat with, um, oh, there's my neck. Careful, my love. Wait, uh, wait, With the Washington Health Plan, because in this state you have to, I'm self employed and every so often I have to like new stuff. And Abraham's insurance is switching up and I have no idea how to do it. It's so confusing. Don't do that, my love. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some delicious fresh juice on. We're gonna do fennel, a couple carrots because I washed it, spinach. We might do some ginger. Hi. Okay, we added a bunch of oranges too. And Abraham over here is my assistant, so he always helps me do all of this. Okay, ready? making a lot of juice lately because with the coronavirus I am pretty high risk. Not good too. Oh no, let me try it. I think that's good. So we've been testing out whether we have to peel the oranges and I think the answer is yes. Because it's still perfectly fine tasting with the peel on but it is a little bit more bitter. And normally I'll peel them 
but I just wanted to try a couple different recipes that I've seen where you don't peel them. And I think for our taste buds, we prefer that. Yeah. Can I try? So this is about four cups of juice and Abraham and I get through it. I've been wondering, why is that? Just a little bit of the vegetable. Um, in, our, in, in, in the day, normally I'll make this a little bit earlier and we're making it around dinner time. But like I said, our time thing's been so messed up. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, the next batch we'll do, we'll peel the oranges, but it's so healthy, and we're really, really trying that to is. boost our immune system. Oh, that will, will not good juice. Mm. Next time I okay, I'm going to go peel two oranges and juice them in there for him, so that he likes the juice, too. So as I cry actual tears over what our health premium is going to be, I'm amazed they're allowed to take, like, such a huge percentage of your income for your health insurance legally. It seems surprising, but on a less political health care note so it's not really a political statement is it? it's just a healthcare statement uh, uh, i'm making dinner let me show you what i'm making so i'm sauteing up in olive oil mushrooms and eggplant i'm gonna put the pasta water on in a second and i'm gonna do some of our kale and i boil the kale right in with the pasta water so that it all cooks together and it's less pans for you to have to use What do you think about vegetables? Are they the best food group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you could eat just vegetables, just kale for a week, would you? You wouldn't? You wouldn't eat just kale for a week? I would totally eat just kale. No, no, no. I love you. Two bum. <laughs> you have a two bum. I don't want to be tooted on. Don't make me stick you. Please. You when I to and you you move like a walking dump. Sorry, Biscuit. I got hungry and dug in. You know I'm on it now. I look terribly appetizing. Let's fill the vegetables and garlic. Yeah.